Hi! In the previous video about Dalton's law and its concepts, we said that we treat each of the gas molecule as an independent gas. That's why when we have a gas mixture, the individual pressure of each gas component is additive. So Dalton's law of partial pressure tells us that the sum of the individual pressures of the gases in a mixture, say for example, gas A, gas B, gas C, and so on and so forth as to how many components there are. It's just that you sum the individual partial pressure of each of the gas so as to get the total pressure of the mixture. Similarly, the amount of moles of each gas component is also additive because gases don't undergo a chemical change when they, when they create a mixture or, or when they are mixed. And also the law of conservation of mass. So um, to relate partial pressure to mole fraction is just that to get the partial pressure of a certain component, say for example gas A, all you need to do is multiply the mole fraction of that A to the total pressure of the mixture, in which to get mole fraction of A, A is any component, uh, any component gas that's given in the problem. So to get the mole fraction of A, all you need to do is divide the mole of that A, so if A, it should also be mole of A, of course, over the total mole of the mixture, the summation of the mole. Now let's solve two problems related to Dalton's law and also with the in in inclusion of mole fraction. And then let me show you how to attack the problem properly. So let's start with this. You have a mixture of 640, 640 um, moles of hydrogen and you also have 3.30 moles of oxygen gas, so that's H2 and O2, they're two diatomic, and it has a volume of 300 liters at 273 Kelvin. Calculate the partial pressure of hydrogen if the total pressure of the mixture is 0.75 um, atmosphere. Now, I said when you put the given, you have to separate the one for the mixture and the one for the individual component amount. So for the mixture alone, we know that um, you have a total volume of 300 liters. And then you also have temperature of 273 Kelvin. And of course, you have a total pressure of 0.75 atmosphere. And then... For N, you put that on the next column, N of H2 is given, which is 6.70 mole. And then N of O2 is 3.30 mole. And then from there, because you have two components, of course, you can readily calculate for the N total, which is 6.70 plus 3.30 mole, you get 10 0 0.0 mole and then the one required in the problem is the partial pressure of H2 what is the partial pressure of H2 which also you can calculate the partial pressure of O2 if you get H2 so let's investigate from which of the given can we get an idea as to what we can use now if PV and T are given, you can use ideal gas law. But on the other side, you're given all the mole. There was a direct equation to relate mole to mole fraction, and then mole fraction to partial pressure, in which you know that to get the partial pressure of H2, in terms of mole fraction, that's just the mole fraction of H2 times the total pressure, which you all know because X of H2 is equal to mole of H2 over total moles. Correct? Yes, it's correct. Times PT. So that will give you the partial pressure of H2. So basically, you can use this direct equation because you already know what you need. Because if you pass by ideal gas law using this, it will take time. It's not direct. And of course, you'll still get the same answer. So we can already substitute it here, you know, mole H2, which is 6.70 mole. And you know the total mole, we already added it, which is 10.0 mole times the total pressure of 0.75 atmosphere. And of course, you know that if it's a, sorry, 
if it's a mole fraction if it's a mole fraction there's no unit because you can just cancel it out and whatever is the unit of your total pressure that becomes the unit of your p h2 so you can get an answer putting that in the calculator so 6.70 divided by 10 times 0 0.75 we get the answer to be 0 0.50 atmosphere so this is the final answer for the partial pressure of hydrogen and to get the partial pressure of your o2 all you need to do is subtract it from your total pressure so it's 0 0.75 minus 0 0.50 so we can readily predict that the p of o2 is just equal to 0.25 atmosphere so you just subtract that okay according to dalton's law so that's it for this particular problem i hope you're following with this so go back if you did not understand and look at the process if you want to explore using ideal gas law no problem with me as long as you can follow through that these are the correct answers there's another way also to get these values that we're looking for using ideal gas law so you may try that out as long as you understood how we applied mole fraction to this particular problem because we're given moles of each component and we can get nt so we can get partial pressure using the mole fraction and the total pressure so this is now for, for um, this problem. Let's now proceed to the next problem. The next problem will, um, it's a bit challenging because this is about the container with 24 liters of nitrogen gas. I want you to understand this problem carefully. You have 24 liters of nitrogen gas at 280 M. So this is not yet mixed. And so these are the initial pressure and the volume of nitrogen gas without mixing first. And then you mixed it down with the 12 liters of oxygen gas at two atmosphere, both at a temperature of 273 Kelvin. Find the partial pressures of N2 and O2 and the total pressure of the resulting mixture if the two gases are combined in a 10 liter container. Now, individually, the volume is 24 liters for nitrogen, 12 liters for oxygen gas. Then suddenly you compress them in a 10 liter container. You would expect conceptually that you cannot add the two atmosphere plus two atmosphere initial pressure because the volume change. The initial volume has been changed. They're being compressed. That's why this problem asks for the partial pressure of N2 and O2 when they are compressed in a 10 liter container. So let's, let's look at our given so that we will understand it further. So the temperature, let's start with N2. We know that the volume of N2 is 24.0 liters. And then the pressure of N2 initial, not yet mixed, is 2.00 atmosphere. And then you are, you know also that the initial temperature is 273 Kelvin. Well, for O2, you know that the volume of O2 is 12.0 liters prior to mixing. PO2 is 2.00 atmosphere. And, of course, temperature is 273 Kelvin for both. Okay. Next is you are asked for the partial pressures of N2, partial pressures, pressure of O2, and the total pressure of the mixture. These three are unknown. Now, what do we do here so that we can get a partial pressure? Now, again, do not assume that you can just add two atmosphere and two atmosphere and you get the total pressure. No, because your volume has changed in the final. You're asked for the final partial pressure of N2 and O2 and the total pressure of the mixture when the volume becomes 10 liters so i'll stop here and i want you to be able to think about it and stay tuned for the next video in which i'm going to show you the answer to this particular problem but for now give yourself time to think about it and then go to the next video to check whether you got the correct answer so this has been madam narca never stop studying and don't give up bye for now